You're here. Oh my goodness, sisters. I am so excited to have you here today. And I just want to be the first to congratulate you for investing in yourself, investing in the thing that God has called you to do in your mission, your calling, and your assignment. So I am giving you a big, warm hug and a heart. Uh, just give yourself a big hug from me. If you haven't met me yet, I am Coach Lynette Rainville, and I am the CEO, or I like to say the Chief Encouragement Officer here at Daughters United. And um, I'm just so thrilled to kick us off, uh, kick off this summit. Oh my goodness, it's finally here. Yes, you guys, it has been years in the making. Actually, I want to say decades, but we're here this is just the beginning. We're using new technology, which is exciting and it's also scary, but um, this is how we build. And this is what I want to share with you. I'm going to give a quick nugget this, this uh, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're listening from and uh, whatever time you're listening. This is the beauty of virtual, you guys. We're not limited. This is kind of like a peek into how God is. It's like, wow, you know, God, you're everywhere all the time. And, you know, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, midnight, five in the morning, whatever, you know, it's just kind of cool. So I just want to encourage you, daughters of God, okay? He is calling. This is a clarion call, my friends, okay? For his Deborah's, his Esther's, his Ruth's, his Naomi's, you know, the warriors um, that have, you know, I look, I love Gideon, I love Joshua, you know, all of these, um, I'm sure there's many coming to your mind, but you are in that camp, okay? You are in that company because you're here, you're investing in that thing that God has called you to do. And this is a call and we can hear it if you have, um, eyes to see, ears to hear, and your spirit is in tune, you know, God is putting out that really cry for the other half of the army, okay? The women of God to rise up and rally, right? To gather her tribe, her tools, and her talents for such a time as this, because it's time to get equipped so that she could lead well, in her calling and she be, can become a builder. So I'm going to camp on builder. And if you have taken any of my trainings before, I teach acronym style. Okay. So I am going to break apart builder in just a few minutes because the next speaker is coming on very shortly. But listen, I'm going to do this and just take your notes down. And this is why you want to get the replay because you might miss something live, so you can go back and listen to me as much as you want. <laughs> so B, builder, okay? This is what we need to do. We need to become a builder, and these are the things that as we're leaning in and as we are stepping out, and like I say, out of the pews and onto the pavement, getting our toolbox ready or, or our, our backpack full of tools, we need to be become aware of the needs, okay? We can do a lot of things. Yeah, we can. And us, us women, we do a lot of things. But what are the good things and what are the God things, okay? And what I like to teach is what is that holy ache that God is drawing you to? What is that thing that keeps you awake at night, the thing that you know, you wake up in the morning and you're thinking about, okay, that is a little golden nugget from my training. All right, let's move on to you in Builder, okay? Your mission and your calling will unite people in partnerships, okay? It unites, it doesn't divide. And in this era, what God is doing, he is looking for those with a heart of unity, and that's what we're all about here at Daughters United. And as you can see, we love unity and diversity, okay, from every culture, every denomination, every walk of life. You know, we need to be a representation of the kingdom, the body of Christ. Okay, I is for inspires. 
inspire passion for the cause. The Lord is highlighting a cause to you. And as a builder, you will inspire passion for that thing. Okay, I have um, sisters now in my mission builder group and one of them in particular, and I just love her story. And she survived and lived for years with the regret of having an abortion. And now she's turning that around and she is, is inspiring others with the cause to let go of the regret and the shame of the past mistakes. And now she's helping people to um, survive and thrive and now to step out into their calling. So I'm so excited for you, my sister. Now let's move on to L, leverage. We need to leverage gifts and talents and resources. God's not going to ask you to do something that you haven't been packaged for, okay? I'm going to tell you, it might not, you can't see it right here, but I am barely five feet tall, okay? God's not going to ask me to go and shoot hoops for a living. I would not make it in the NBA, all right, you guys? Um, but I'm packaged for this. I am packaged in such a way. And that's, I'm going to leverage what what do I love to do? You know, I, I've always loved photography. I've loved media. And this is like ready-made. You know, it, it's just so exciting to see when your talents come alive, when you get to dig in deep. And this is what we're going to do in this time together. We're going to dig in deep and see what is the treasure that's already in you. Okay, D, and I'm big on this, is develop. We need to develop a plan. That's what my Mission Builder course is all about. Write the vision, chart the course, okay? Um, we need Habakkuk 2.2. It says, write the vision and make it plain on tablets so the herald may run with it. And that's the first thing in my story that God told me to do. And it was just amazing. I was minding my own business, vacuuming the house, and God's like, go look up Habakkuk or Habakkuk, however you want to say it. And I'm like, is that a guy in the Bible or is that a book? You know, and finally I listened, I put my vacuum down, I went and looked it up and write what God was saying to my heart while I was doing my work. The Lord showed me in black and white, write the vision down. So yes, we need to develop a plan. E is for engage, okay? We need to engage action steps. We can write about it in these journals all day long, okay, my friend? But if we don't actually do a call to action and we don't take action steps, we're never going to be equipped for the army. We're never going to make an impact. And that's what this summit's all about, equipping you with the tools that you need so that you can step out, you can get off the bench and get on the field. You know, Coach Jesus is saying, come on, I need you in that position. And it's time. It's time to engage. Put on those, those warrior boots because we need you. We need you, sister. And now our, this, is, this excites me like crazy, redeems. Redeems lost or broken people, places, and things. Okay? Lost territory. And can I... Can I just lean in and say this? My friend, if you have been through painful things, God is the greatest um, potter that he reforms and reshapes, all right? He has a way to turn our pain into our purpose. He does it all the time. He's done it in my life. He's done it in every one of these sisters' lives that are here for this summit. So I want you to lean in. Let's get to the next speaker, get your coffee, your notebook, your pen ready, and get ready to ready to write because you're going to get ready to run after this. So God bless you. May the Lord just pour his spirit, his courage, and excitement into you for what you are about to receive. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you, sister. Can't wait to see you in the next video.